folks, and uh, welcome back. This is um, How to Catch More Golden Perch, episode number three, um, which will be the final one of this little series that I've put together, um, which is um, concentrating on, on how to catch golden perch uh, fishing vertically in the trees. Uh, I'm gonna go through how I use my lance uh, lives to locate the fish um, using the, uh, the structure scan to scan out both sides. Also shows uh, the down scan and the, and the 2D um, for those that um, sort of, you know, got the old 2D style of um, sonars, it'll just give you a bit of an idea of how you can actually still use them to um, to locate these fish. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit tricky. Uh, we're in the middle of this COVID-19 um, crisis, so everything's sort of locked down pretty well. Um, I know I certainly am. I haven't been out anywhere fishing. Um, been absolutely minimising my my uh, movements even around even around my local town here. Um, I'm in a debate about, oh look, you know, fishing's closed down, this is ridiculous, you know, it's my right to be able to go out there and go fishing, um, you know, blokes are calling, you know, mental health issues and things like that, which, you know, I'm quite aware of, uh, of how that can affect people, um, but there are other ways to reach out and, uh, and talk to people and get a bit of a hand with that if you need to, and as far as people saying, oh look, you know, I can't afford to go to the shops and buy food. We all know that fishing is the most expensive way to get a free feed. So cut the crap, have a watch of this, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. So this will give you a bit of a rundown on, um, you know, just how I'm using my sanders to, to locate them, just to cut down time lost in the water. Um, life's too short to be mucking around fishing with our own fish, as far as I'm concerned. So I like to put my sanders to the to the best use, and this is how I do it. Um, doesn't mean it's the right way; it's just how I do it. It might give you a few tips on uh, on how you might use yours and, and, and get the most out of it. So um, it'll it'll go from the structure and down skin uh, and and 2D in, in the dashboard. Moving forward to the bow and using the um, the Lorentz uh, live sight uh, off the front, um, just to watch those fish follows, ups and downs, and missed hits and and whatever else. So uh, we'll uh, we'll get into it and show you uh, what I mean. And if we have a look right there at that screenshot, straight away, it's going to show you. Um, you've got your traditional sonar on the right and your down scan on the left. You can see straight away there, we've got those big balls in the blue with the uh, fish reveal showing the arches on the left hand screen. And then if you look on the right, you can just see those shots, those arches that are just a little bit more defined. There you fish. So for any of you guys out there thinking, well, I don't have down scan or any of that sort of stuff. My sound is a few years old. I can't sound them out. You can. So where's the menu? I'm on high chirp, I've got my sensitivity up just one. Oh, there you go, look at that, that's classic. That's a fish that's just um, cruised through underneath us there. There's a stack of them here actually, this is really, really good. I'm just gonna pull up the sounder there. How cool is that? I'll take a quick screenshot so I can show you that as well. And there he is in the 2D, right? All right. Where are we? So I'm running high chirp on my 2D sonar. I've got the sensitivity up just one. Color line's at 76%. Now, in the advanced, what have we got? Noise rejection, low. So yeah, I'm gonna get this bit of clutter up here, but that doesn't worry me. I can tell the difference between what's fish and what's not anyway. Um, or structure, whatever it might be. Come back here. Um, Surface clarity is on low as well. Again, you know, what's we're gonna go here. Why it's gonna cut all that out of there, right? Which is fine, all good and well. Look at that, you're still gonna see a fish because that fish is actually sort of cruising along with us at the moment underneath the boat, more or less. So you can see he's come up off the bottom. And he's not alone. That's a school. A few fishing amongst that. Speaking of which, 
Look at this, let's mark a waypoint. There's the coordinates for anyone who cares. Alright, where were we? So that's that, that, that. Um, what else is in advanced? My scroll speed's on normal, my ping speed's on max. I just give that, I, I find that gives the best picture for what I do. Um, more options. Um, no split, you know, so you can zoom in on an area, you can bottom lock, all that sort of bizzo there. Um, pallet, that's just the old school pallet that I like. Um, my overlay and the down scan is off just because I'd rather run down scan and traditional on its own. Um, there's a few other bits and pieces in there that really I don't really worry about to be honest. So that's that. What we're going to do now is cruise over those same trees. I'm going to run the structure scan on it um, with what I run typically. I either run a chart in the corner um, so I know where I am, where my marks are, or I'll run uh, the 2D, the down scan, and a big uh, structure scan down the bottom of my sounder. So we'll spin around now and go and have a look at that. Righto, so what I've got for you there is a bit of a comparison between um, your 800 and your 455 um, hertz on your structure scan. It's a pretty clear illustration there of the extra detail that you achieve by using your 800 uh, as opposed to your 455. Um, your 455 throws a, a stronger beam. Um, so you're going to cover a, a wider area of water. Um, and there is a point where you're going to have to use it because you're in the depth. You know, that's that's too deep for your 800 to, uh, to pick up on properly. Um, but yeah, that shot there just shows you just how much more detail. You can see that little school of reddies there. And all of a sudden you can pick up those, um, those little piles of rocks as well. So... Um, I generally run 800 um, everywhere I go when I'm out here on the fresh. It's just got so much detail in it and um, I really don't need to be covering any more water than what that's going to give me anyway. Sometimes I might run it if I'm trying to get you know, a shot a further distance away, um, but generally your 800 is going to be uh, more than enough. Before we do that, let's have a look down our menu. How have I got mine set? Obviously, sources this unit. I'm running a three-in-one transducer on the um, on the HDS Live. My range is set to 40 meters. Like I said, where are we? We're in 16 meters of water. There you go. There's another fish for you there. I know it's hard to see doing it this way, which is why I will also show you this way. All right. Pop that in here for a second. My contrast is up just a little bit, um, plus two, if you hit that, you can see you can go on to auto, which is probably fine, really. Um, I might just leave it there for now. You can see those nice rocks there. Um, pallet, well, take your pick. There's a mile of them. That's, that's quite a good one there, pretty popular, that one. But there's, yeah, there's heaps of them. I don't mind that one though, to be honest. Um, yeah, so another thing is to remember uh, when you are using your, your structure scan, uh, when you are using the structure scan is to keep the boat moving forward and keep it in a straight line. I know it's been said before and all this sort of stuff's been done before, um, but I'm gonna tell you again because it is bloody important. You cruise along over your tree, it should be nice and clear. You know. It, you can see the tree on your screen. As soon as you slow down, like if we just take a quick shot there. I know it's a bit, bit of muck on that screen, it needs cleaning up. Let's have a look, what can we do? All right, we'll just put the surface clarity onto low there. Look at that, another school of reddies in there. Big school there. It's gonna be big critters chasing them too. Um, where was I? Righto. So, you want to be cut, keep your boat moving forward. You want to be moving along at a reasonable sort of a speed. Um, if I see my chart there, I'm running about two knots, and that's going to give me a nice clear picture. Let's see if we slow down a bit. 
what it looks like. It's going to... All your detail is going to run out of the picture because you're getting that return, bang, 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 off the same bit of tree, off the same bank, off the same rock, off the same fish. Um, so it's gonna, you're going to lose the detail because you're getting repeated shots of the same bit of structure. So you can see there on that screen, look at that bit of structure there out on the, uh, out on the right there. It's gone all blurry. It's because we're not moving forward. Um, marking another couple of them. Yeah, plenty of good fish on the bottom there again at the moment. Um, again, you're not going to see them properly either because you, you're not moving forward quick enough. Um, as we start to speed up, you'll see right there, sharpens up again. So you can see the top half there, the uh, structure, scan, structure scan screen. Bit of a tongue twister. Um, nice and sharp. The bottom bit isn't because we were going too slow. Righto, let's scroll back a bit. You see here, that tree doesn't look like that. It's not that thick, the branches aren't that long. All right, so we've gone from a decent picture with a fish there and in there, little reddies in there. We've slowed down too much. It's stretching everything. It's rubbish, it looks terrible. So this is a fish here, but he should look nice and sharp like that as we start to speed up a bit. And there we go again, look at that. You've got the nice big tree, you've got bait, you've got fish, you've got the shadows coming off the branches. That's what it's all about. That's what it should look like. You can see there on the down scan, down scan screen, um, that tree, the fish there, a few of them there, and you can see on the TD sonar there, they're a bit stretched there because that's where we were at this stage going too slow. I hope that all makes sense to you. I'm gonna throw a heap of screenshots in here just so I can try and explain it to you. It is a bit tricky. Um, every time I show you the, the screen through the camera, just look at it, it. You know, you've got heaps of glare and all the rest of it. So it looks a bit rubbish. But um, so that's the settings that I use. Uh, I play with them all the time. There's no hard and fast. That's for sure. I'm always tinkering. Every trip, every time I come out, I'm always playing around. If there's something that I've captured there, and I think. You know, that could be a good bit of structure, or I think that's a few fish, or that's a nice bit of rock there in the middle of nowhere. I'll sharpen it up a bit, play with a few things. That's your number one. You've got to get in amongst it. You've got to play with it. Don't be afraid of upsetting it. If all else fails, res reset the factory default settings, and uh, and away you go. So, um, oh, look, if you do get stuck and you want to shortcut all this sort of stuff, I mean, I've been using Sanders now decades right from back when they were black and white um, and pretty pretty hard to read actually um, right up to today's latest uh, Lorenz live units if you want to skip all that you can uh, tech angler does a great job of, of guiding people um, he'll take you out on your boat and show you how to use your gear properly you will skip years and years and years of uh, possible frustration and just having it sitting there in your boat, not even turning you on because you don't know how to use it. Um, it'll pay back tenfold. Whether you're going to spend the time out here getting to know yourself, which which I personally like, but I've been doing it for years too, or you're going to go and, and see uh, old mate tech angler and um, and shortcut it, just make sure you, you're understanding what you're seeing. There is another massive school there of baby reddies I'm assuming, um, could be school or small carp, there's yellows in amongst them as well, um, but yeah, get to know your sanders, don't just say oh no it's too old, it's no good, use your 2D sonar, it'll still show you the tree and it's still going to show you fish too, so um, get in, play with it, don't look for that perfect picture, you're not always going to get it. That's not a bad shot though. And every part of your sound has got a different, will show something slightly different, which is why I run split screens and why a lot of blokes run split screens, because your 2D shows one thing, your down scan shows another, your structure's showing wider again, and then you move forward to your, your live site and, uh, and away you go. So 
jump into them, have a muck around, have a tin in the shed, muck around with it. Um, yeah, just go through all your menus and all your settings and just um, get to know how to use them because it's bloody worth it. Let's get into some fish, eh? Well, uh, again, as you can see there, marked up some fish on the um, structure scan, down scan, and the traditional sonar there. And uh, yeah, now yeah, I've got the live in, and it's good numbers here by the look of it. Just drop it into them, we'll see if we can pull one straight out. There's one's had a crack. And we're straight in. How good's that? Look at all his mates there chasing him up. Good patchy, good patch. Sand and catch them. Pretty much done here for the day, so we'll just drop this little fella straight back in again. See you later, little mate. One more drop.